This is Armageddon News. Recently, another group reposted our second coming video, saying that the end of the world is July 29, 2016. It seems to have got some publicity in the news and the video went viral, which led the media to believe that we were the ones promoting that the world would end on July 29, rather than this other group. We have never claimed such a thing. This date is just another false state being promoted online from people who clearly don't know much about prophecy especially seeing as they still think Obama is the Antichrist, and are clueless to the fact that the Bible actually says the Antichrist rises from the Middle East, not America or Europe. As regards our video about the Second Coming, which described a global cataclysm, it may have been a mistake to use the word magnetic. In our video, which this other group capitalized on and falsely connected to July 29th, and the magnetic reversal, on that date, we would never have made a connection to this date or event, as it simply does not line up with the Bible's timeline of prophetic events. Rather we were trying to convey in our video a still future possibility, of a physical reeling of the earth, rather than just a magnetic flip. If you have watched, any of the other Armageddon news videos, you would have seen, how many other prophecies we said have to take place before that, global cataclysm can take place. Unfortunately some believe that the second coming of Jesus and the global cataclysm, can take place at any moment. Which is simply not scriptural. Jesus has laid out a specific series of events, which must occur before his second appearance. Events which include, among others. The conquest of Jerusalem by the Arabs, which is a conquest led by the Antichrist himself, which will see him rule over Jerusalem for 42 months. How people can put the second coming before this event, which clearly has not happened yet, is beyond ridiculous. In fact it's heretical. And the 42 months must come to an end, before the second coming of Christ and global cataclysm can occur. Any messiah figure who appears in Jerusalem after this Arab conquest, and before that full 42 months of Arab rule has ended, must be seen as the Antichrist. In fact this is exactly what Jesus warned us about that just after this conquest of Jerusalem, many would say come and see the Messiah. For then, shall be great tribulation, such as hath not been from the beginning of the world until now, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days had been shortened, no flesh would have been saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is the Christ, or, here, believe it not. For there shall arise false Christs, and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, so as to lead astray, if possible, even the elect. Matthew 24 21-24 So the Antichrist must make his appearance just after this conquest, and false signs and wonders will follow. But the cataclysm itself and real second coming will occur after this 42 months of rule. And not, I repeat, not before. The cataclysm itself, is a direct result of the global earthquake, an earthquake, which reels the earth to and fro like a drunkard. As stated in Isaiah 24 20. And might, we say, might, cause the real poles, not the magnetic poles, to shift, which could explain why the stars appear to fall as stated in Mark 13 25. In our video, we were trying to explain that the earthquake itself would be the cause of the earth reeling. We were in no way trying to connect July 29th's magnetic pole reversal, to the second coming. The media wanted a story, so it used our name and falsely claimed that, we had said, the magnetic reversal occurring on July 29th, would result in the end of the world. But we have never proposed any dates in our videos, and we hold to scripture which states that a global earthquake and second coming, are the catalyst, for all the other events including a possible polar shift, as a result of that earthquake. But because of this other end times group the false July 29th date was spread across the media. And the magnetic reversal on July 29th somehow became the event to signal the end of the world. Unfortunately other people have caused this confusion, by setting false dates to our video. We did send out an email to many news sites about a week before the 29th explaining that we had no connection to the fake date news story and many corrected their articles. 
on the plus side of all the negativity. Our video has had millions of views. And now many more people should know about the Islamic connection, to the beast of revelation. And they now also know what signs will occur, on the day Jesus returns. So God turns all things around for the good. We must however state, that there is nothing to prevent a future global earthquake, at the coming of Christ. Just because the magnetic poles have reversed means nothing. As we still await that global quake, foretold in the Bible, which will occur at the proper time in the prophetic timeline, and will indeed level cities, cause mountains to fall, and islands to flee, just as our second coming video describes. Daily we see quakes increasing in frequency and scale. The book of Revelation is very clear on this event. And I saw when he opened the sixth seal. And there was a great earthquake. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair. And the whole moon became as blood. And the stars of the heaven fell unto the earth. As a fig tree casteth her unripe figs when she is shaken of a great wind. And the heaven was removed as a scroll, when it is rolled up, and every mountain, and island, were moved out of their places. And the kings of the earth, and the princes, and the chief captains, and the rich, and the strong, and every bondman and freeman, hid themselves in the caves, and in the rocks of the mountains. And they say to the mountains and to the rocks, Fall on us, and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne, and from the wrath of the Lamb. For the great day of their wrath, is come. And who is able to stand? Revelation 6 12-17. Yes my friends, there is nothing to prevent this future cataclysm, from coming to pass. But the mockers will continue to mock, and false state setters will continue to fail. Until the day Jesus will come to the shock and dismay of all sinners. Who will then weep and mourn, for they will all know that only judgment awaits them. But today, is the day of his mercy. And today, is the day of his grace. Therefore repent of your sins. Believe that Jesus died on the cross and rose again, call upon his name.